how to add Squarespace product variants. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I am going to show you how simple and easy it is to add product variants to your Squarespace website or your store. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com and sign in into your account. Once you have did that, you are going to see the uh, dashboard or the account dashboard of yours. And it is going to be something similar to this one. So what are we going to do here is to select the website that we want to set up the product to and make sure that this website contains a store. So in the creation of the website, you're going to add the or check up the case for selling online product or selling online. So this is the uh, the not the Shopify, but the Squarespace website that I have. So I have here the product and services installed, which is going to be a store or online store into my website. Now, as you can see, I have some products as you can see consider here these are some samples and everything is going to be well now how we are going to add the product variants and why the product variants are going to be like the variant or the resembling products or the additional options to a product for example if you are going to sell a t-shirt you are going to get some sizes and these sizes are going to be variants. Also, uh, it could be considered uh, the uh, sizes as let's say here options, but we can also add uh, some colors and they could be also considered variants. Now, without further talking, we are going to click on products and services. Now let's go ahead and click on create. And uh, from here, we are going to get the uh, option so we can create a product. We have physical product, service, download, gift card, and custom merchandise. We are going to select physical product. So we are going to start creating it. Now, what are we going to give the product a name? For example, we are going to give it maybe modern shoe. So for the description, we are going to copy this and get the help of the Squarespace AI. So what do we need? Obviously description, for example, description, because here I do not have my own description. So I will get the help of the AI of our um, uh, favorite website creator, which is Squarespace. So we are going to get this. This is the description. Now we can add, for example, some additional information. You can add it right there for that product. Uh, also here, you need to set up the uh, product, as you can see, uh, files or the uh, media, like the images, videos, etc. And for the inventory, you are going to set up the price. For example, I'm going to give here an example. Uh, the sale price for the marketing or the promotional purposes. I'm going to set it as $89.99. For example, the stock is going to be limited or unlimited, for example, or we can go ahead and put up here a stock of 500 pieces uh, or pieces. Now for the SKU code here, it is going to be here automatically generated for you. And now the most important part here, we have the variants. Now the variants is going to be having this description. Sell different versions of the same product. For example, a shirt that comes in multiple colors or sizes. This is what I have been explaining earlier. So we are going to click on add. You're going to get the preview of the, as you can see here, uh, the product and the title, the price, and here we have color, for example. Now the option is going to be size, for example, color, material, or something uh, here um, special. 
I am going to click on add option. Now I'm not going to add a color, but instead we are going to add size. For example, we have the um, size eight, size 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, uh, for example, 10.5. So these are going to be the sizes that are available. This is the first option. You can also add multiple variants. Here I call the variants options because they are considered as options. As you can read, add options. Now, I'm going to add another option or another variant. So we are going to put it as color. For example, we have uh, blue and white. I'm going to put it here, blue. And for example, we are going to put in place of and uh, or and right there the mark of this. So we are going to blue and white. Uh, here we have, for example, black and white and etc. What I am going to do is to add another option. And here we have, for example, leather. We have also another option, which is going to be maybe fabric. Now I'm going to click on save. Here we have added the variant and we have the total of 24 variant. So this is for the sizes and also the colors. Now you can go ahead and manage the options by clicking on manage options and see the, that you are going to do the same thing that you did before. Now, how we can see that product, we're going to add that product or publish it at least. I'm going to click on save and publish. And what are we going to do is to see that product online on the website and i am going to see if we have it i'm going to click on pages click on shop and i want to see all the product so this is the product i am going to click on it and we are going to see right there the title description the price etc and here we have the variants we have the material we have the leather and the fabric and we have the color as you can see blue and white and black and white and finally we have the sizes which we have been uh, set up uh, for eight and eight and a half nine nine and a half ten ten and a half so you can go ahead and select for example uh, right there the uh, add to cart and it will be uh, obliged to you or required for you to set up the color and the size so for example, the fabric is uh, uh, like this. The color is going to be white like this, the size nine or eight and a half at the cart. And this is how we can go ahead and set it. So that was for this specific product. Now, if we want to add this option or these variants kind of to other products, we can go ahead and set them for existing product also. So we are going to head over the products and services, select the product and the modify the product that we want to add it to. So this is the product number two. I'm going to click on three dots here, edit. Now we are going to scroll down a little bit. So we are going to see the variants. I'm going to click on add. For example, here we are going to add the color. So let's start with orange. We are going to get the uh, what their suggestions orange, uh, blue, for example, um, red, green, and here we have it. You can add, for example, a custom option or a custom uh, variant like something. I'm going to put up here the title length, for example, length. I'm going to put here. Uh, uh, 10 centimeters, uh, let's see here, 15 centimeter, and etc. Click on save, and this is a custom 
uh, value that we have added. So it is very easy and very simple to set up the variance. All you need to do is to save and then you have everything set up. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.